What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do another lead code grind challenge. Lead code easy. Uh, sword array by parity. Given an array A of non-negative integers, return an array consisting of all the even elements of A followed by all the odd elements of A. You may return any answer array that, satisf that satisfies the condition. So, just given an array, return the even and then the odds. Okay, so this is actually really easy. I'll just do it right now. Basically, you want to go through your array once. Uh, you want a array called um. Let's create an array called to return, and then we're gonna go through the array. I lost you. Whoa, this is really laggy. A dot size. So basically, you just want to go through it, check if it's even, go through all your values in your array. If it's even, then we're going to add it to a two return. So if a at i mod by two, that's how you check if even, by the way, is equal to zero, because mod means that you have a remainder. But if it's even, then we're going to We're going to add it to our array. We're returning. Then we then that's going to end. So that that's going to that basically adds up all the evens into our array that we're returning. Then we're going to go through it again. We're going to go through the array that was originally given to us and then we're going to add all the odd values. And that's basically how you do this problem. There is a better way to do this using one pass, and I'll go over that in a few minutes. Yeah. So if not equal zero, that means it's odd, then we're going to add add it. So that this was going this is going to add the odd values. First is going to add first this is going to add the even values in the array that we're to returning. Then it's going to go through and going to add the odd values. And then we're going to return to return. So yeah, that's basically how you sort by parity. You just have an array of A integer, non-negative integers. You go through it twice. And yeah, this is basically how you do it. Accept it. All right. Now there's actually a better solution where you don't go through it twice. And you're actually going to just change your original array A. I'll show you it right now, but I'll show you in a few minutes, but try to figure out how to do it, how to do that solution first, and then I'll show it to you. All right, guys, so this is the proper solution using one pass, which when I say one pass, I mean only going through the array, the array once, and I don't, I'm not like, I'm not creating a new array and adding values to it. I'm just going to modify the original array and I'll return that. So, what do I mean by one in one pass? So, yeah, so how would you how exactly would you go through it only once and then swap all the even values in the front and then all the odd values in the end? Well, one way to do this is something called quick sort. Okay. I I know this quick sort is like, "Oh my god, quick sort." A standard algorithm standard textbook algorithm but how how are we going to use quick sort well we are going to maintain two pointers one for the beginning and the end i is the beginning j is the end basically we are going to check whatever if it's odd or even all right so if the beginning is if the beginning is even and the end is odd, right, then everything is correct, okay? Like the beginning is even and the end is odd. Everything is correct. So I'm going to move my beginning pointer where I'm at up by one and the end I'm at down by one, all right? If the beginning is odd, 
whatever value I am at the beginning, and my end is even, then I have to swap these values. Okay? And then I would continue. But if the beginning is even and the end is odd, oh, the end is even, the end is even, then we know that the first position, the beginning position is correct. So we increment the beginning position and continue. If the beginning is odd and the end is odd, we know that end is correct and we decrease the end and continue. So that way in all these four cases, whatever position where we're at, like we're guaranteed that the beginning is going to be even, the end is going to be odd because we're going to swap those values every time if the um, if it's they're incorrect but if one is correct and we move the whatever position my beginning position is by one if the end is correct then we decrease my ends position by one and we keep swapping until we get down to the case so how do you code this well I'll code it with you guys right now all right we they use I and J but let's call it begin so this is going to be in the begin position just to make, sh make sure you guys understand it. We have a begin position and we have an end position. End position is going to be a dot size minus one. Okay. Whoops. And we are going to, while my begin position is less than the end position, we are going to do this condition. Okay, so if my begin, whatever my value at my begin position, right? If my begin position mod 2, uh, so okay, so this this basically checks if if it's, uh, yeah, okay. So if it's greater than a at n position mod 2, what does this do? This is checking that if my begin position is odd and my end position is even, right? Do you, do you guys get, get it? Because if this was odd, mod by 2 would return 1, and that's going to be greater than this. This is going to return 0, right? So if, this is the, if, the, if the beginning is odd and the end is, the end is even, I'm going to swap these values. Okay. So I'm going to create a temporary array, begin position, temporary variable, and I'm going to swap. This is a code how to swap. You create a temporary variable and then you, you set, uh, see, you create a temporary variable. You set my, whatever my begin position was originally. I set my beginning to the end position and my end to uh, uh, begin position, uh, begin position, my bad, temp, 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 which was the begin position before it got modified. So yeah, now we're going to check if my begin position was even if my begin position was even, that means it was around the right spot. So then I'm going to increase my begin position. That means it was right. If my begin position was, now if my end position was odd, right, if my end position was odd, then it's in the right spot. So then I'm gonna decrease my end position. So this guarantees that every time this condition happens, my whatever I'm swapping is always going to be the begin and the first begin is uh, begins all, all will always be even whatever I'm swapping and my end will always be odd yeah and then after this while loop we're going to return return a yeah that was that's basically it why is this faster than only 26% it's strange. Um, what did I get originally? My original 
solution is actually way f a little faster than this. That's strange. But yeah, this was a this was a solution they gave us, so I just follow this. But yeah, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.